Hi everyone, welcome back to Rocksteady. Uh, Tracy here and this is an unboxing of some cookware that I've bought. Um, well, I haven't exactly bought it. I've ordered it from um, um, sort of a catalogue um, that I use and um, so I can return it. It's not going to cost me a penny to send it back either. So um, I bought this predominantly because um, I do have a Scoville pan like a frying pan and it's really good it really is good and it wasn't the scoville never stick it was just um a non-stick and that is amazing um in itself however it's enormous and all of the pans that i possess are enormous and so i wanted to get a smaller one to use as an omelette pan and it is also about time that we got new pans uh, uh, any all of our cookware is really old and uh, mismatched and uh, there's not one non-stick pan amongst them so as this um never stick this scoville never stick has got such a good reputation and is um uh, black friday as well i decided to give it a go so I've ordered these. Now, this is the box that the three pans come in. So I don't hold out a great deal of hope of them being very big. So I've got a feeling that they may end up going back. So I'm going to move my camera down just a little bit. And I'm going to start trying to unbox these. So this I have kind of almost um, into this one, even though... I didn't open the box. This is how it arrived. Um, not always the best, I feel, um, of packaging, but I think it's more the courier's fault. Now, this is humongous. Yeah, I said the others, um, I fear they won't be very big. But this is gigantic. I didn't expect this to be quite so big. Now, this is... Um, it is stronger than any other non-stick, apparently. And this is super strong non-stick. That's what it says everywhere. A stock pot. But for goodness sake, it's gigantic. It's 32 centimetres, 8 litre. How on earth? Well, that's a stock pot. How much stock might you want? You know, I'm just being flippant. To be honest, I can't get in the bag. I'm going to have to undo the bag somehow. Um, if I send it back, I don't want to... Ah, there we go. I found a way in. I just need some scissors. Here we go. Um, I will und... I'll just cut it because it's not one of those that will re-stick together again. <laughs> it's a never stick. It's a joke, sorry. So this is... This is that stock... I don't know what you're seeing. Let me have a look. Um, let me, oh, mustn't knock them off. Okay, so they're so big, it's hard. To, I'm going to move these for a second. Put them over there. And I'll move this here. And we can bring this into view a little more. This is gigantic, isn't it? Uh, for healthy dry frying, no need for oil or butter. Um, which is true, and my sister has Scoville Never Stick, and, you know, she swears by it. So on the outside, it's got this kind of metallic finish, um, and on the inside is the same. That is humongous. Um, I seriously don't think we'll ever use anything that big. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect it to be that big at all. It's giant gigantic guys i mean if we had a huge family i know we eat a lot in this household but still that's just my mother would have loved it she she seriously would she would have loved this thing she would have made many a stew in that anyway i'm going to pause it for a second and move this one out of the way and we're going to move on to see what's in the six times stronger than any other non-stick three-piece saucepan set Okay, so we're in, and straight away, they're not as small as I thought they were. <laughs> they're actually 
not, and I'm going to get these out, and I'll move, bear with me a second, I'm going to move this gigantic pan out of the way, and pop the box back there, and we'll have a look at these, because these don't look as bad as I imagined. Okay, so this is the lid. Now, sometimes I get annoyed with lids that have got metal, because, you know, there's nothing worse than trying to get the lid off, and it hurts because it gets so hot so i really don't know if that will be the case with these although it is now we've got some odd packaging and a lid for another one in there um i've got a feeling i'll end up keeping these because they're a lot bigger than i thought they did look as if in the box that they would be quite small if you're hearing knocks on my door it's the wind it's very, very windy out there today. And I was woken up at six o'clock this morning by angry door knocker. And I thought that someone was knocking, but it was in fact the wind and it's been doing that ever since. So it's got this really weird inside, but it's meant to be never ever stick side. Okay, here we are. That's a nice size pan actually. Uh, that's all it says everywhere. Scoville performance, never stick. Okay, so that is quite nice. But again, metal handle. Metal handle and metal on the lid. So um, not sure about that just yet. But that must be the lid for that one. So let's move that over there. Okay, lots of packaging. 20 million bits of packaging. Let's move my glasses case. Okay, so these are all attached somehow buy this elastic band um i'm probably gonna ping myself but okay i think i've done it okay if you want an oh, it's a gigantic elastic band never think i've seen that one that big before okay so we've got another lid lots and lots of goodness gracious bin men are gonna have a field day okay let's get all the packaging off that's the thing with unboxings they don't come out looking beautiful they come out with all the packaging right there we are finally okay so that's the medium size one obviously and there's the the next one so it sorry knocking this camera about even the small one isn't that small is it i mean they're quite deep as well so you'd get quite a lot in those they're nowhere near as small as i thought they were going to be so let's have a look let's see what does it say on the box um it says all right there are we there's more to come flake and peel free now non-stick i don't know if you saw the dupont kind of um documentary that was around non-stick is really really bad for you and teflon should i say and when it flakes off that's when it's really bad so this is flake and peel free Healthy dry fryer, no need for oil or butter. Dishwasher safe. I don't have one of those anymore, which uh, I'm very sad about, but Gary didn't want one. Suitable for all cookers, including induction. Um, it's onyx, I don't know if that's a colour. Increased durability, oven safe, heavy duty base, advanced heat distribution, energy saving and thick gauge. So... Um, doesn't say anything about whether they get hot when you use them i guess i'll have to figure that one out so i have um, an 18 centimeter 1.5 liter big pan sorry no that's the medium pan i have a 20 centimeter 2 liter large pan and a 1.1 liter 16 centimeter for the smaller pan well i quite like them i have to say um just going to pause it for a second while I bring in the next thing. Okay, so here we go. Now, this is what I ordered them for in the first place because um, my pans were too big. And I've got a feeling that this isn't what I ordered or this isn't what I thought I was going to get because I have one gigantic, very deep pan, which, you know, uh, wasn't at all what I wanted. I might have to see if they've got a small one. But um, it's a lovely big pan for cooking something with a sauce. 
So, um, yeah, I'm kind of liking it. Like it, but it's not what I actually <laughs> envisaged at all. So this, is, again, is the never stick. Um, uh, dear, what we, so if you get a little diagram there. So non-stick coating, primer coating, super strong toughening process, and aluminium pan. So it's kind of got a few layers. Um, lifetime guarantee, including non-stick. Dishwasher safe again. Rub it in, why don't you? I don't have one anymore. Um, no, can't really see anything else. Only the flake and peel-free, healthy frying. No need for oil or butter. Well, I'm going to try that. Now, this is the one that I thought would be good for an omelette, but you know what? I'm just going to undo the bubble wrap because I ain't going to get in there easily any other way because of the amount of tape they've put. So this one I thought would do good omelettes but because it, it looked small. But it's actually a 24 centimetre frying pan. Again, all the same stuff as before, but um, if I turn it over... You can see that this is the size of the base, so it is smaller, which is good because my ring, uh, my rings on the on the stove, um, I couldn't fit all the pans that I wanted on there. So heaven knows what I'm going to do with that gigantic pan. I think I might send that back, although it is really nice. I have to say, it does look really nice. I don't think it's very practical. I have no idea what I might cook in something so enormous and uh, yeah just Jews I guess but that would feed myself and Gary for like two months so that one will probably end up going back and I might have to look again for an even smaller it's hard to Im imagine them when you see them on uh, a picture just in the in the catalogue sort of thing on the screen but um they are nice. I do like them. I like the way they fit inside each other as well, because so many in the pa in the cupboard don't. But these will fit nicely inside each other. I like the handles. I think that it would be better if the pans had these handles and the lids. That way I knew straight away that they wouldn't get hot. But the only way I'm going to know is if I... If I cook with them, well, it says something on the handle, but what? Let's see. Just never stick. That's all it says. But um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna boil some water in a minute and uh, have a look and see what happens with the handle. So I'm gonna pause it for now and I'll come back and let you know. Okay, so here we are. There it is. It's absolutely cold to touch. Wow. Okay, eat my words. Doesn't get hot in the slightest. You can see it's boiling. Well, just going to pause it one more moment while I um, turn this off. Okay, so I turned off the pan. I like it, I must admit. I like the way that it, the, well, the, the steam escapes um, so it didn't boil over. Although there wasn't really any veggies or anything in them. But um, yeah, so far, so good. And I put the gigantic pan on the cooker top. It doesn't sort of take up too much space. I'm going to see what my, my other half thinks when he comes in. And depending on whether he likes it or not, I may send it back. Now, my saucepan's making a funny noise. I think it's just the steam escaping, but... It does sound like it's making a bit of a rude noise, but never mind. That's just going to add a little humour to dinner. Well, so far, I quite like these uh, Scoville Never Sticks. And yeah, I could do a an omelette in there. It's a bit deep, but um, it could definitely be used for it. I'm going to try and see if I can find one that is specifically an omelette pan. But, you know, the actual diameter is about the right size. Um, I'm going to go and... Um, open the door to the fictitious windy person standing outside i'm going to try and tape it down actually because it is driving me a little mad constantly knocking you probably can't hear it but it's uh, it's just constant it woke me up ridiculously early this morning in a bit of a what on earth was that sort of vibe anyway thank you for watching and uh, let me know what you think 
Um, do you have Scoville Neverstick? Do you swear by them? Or, you know, have they ever stuck? I suppose if you let it, you know, burn, then I don't know. I don't know. Never done that. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.